Well, I think without further ado, um, let's take the cover off the helmet because that's what we're all here to see. Okay. Is this exciting new graphic design? So the helmet will be on sale to the public from around the 20th of July um, and it'll be ex uh, available exclusively through visorshop.com. And just having a look at the, the graphic, it really is magnificent design. As you can see, it encompasses the mountain course layout. We've got the iconic names of the course around on the graphic, including where the timing sac sectors are, um, the legs of man, and a really striking colour design. So it really is a a special helmet and I'm sure it will be it'll be a popular one. Yeah. Welcome up is none other than Michael Dunlop. So Michael's got a very hectic schedule as you can imagine um, this practice week. Michael you started off you know riding the mountain course at the Max Grand Prix. Have you got a, a moment just to share with us what the Max Grand Prix meant to you or maybe a, a story or, or your memories of your first your first ever Max Grand Prix? Yeah, the Max Grand Prix when I started off was the, was the place to be and I still think today it is the place to be for, for newcomers as such. Uh, it's a good starting point. Obviously I, I, I went there and uh, won the newcomers and then uh, I led the 125 race till it broke down but it's it's a great stepping stone to get to the TT because the TT is that fast now. It lets people understand what the course is like before they get there and instead of them putting them out here as newbies they can uh, go there in a more relaxed environment instead of being uh, so hot and heavy the TT obviously they might not be able to run super bikes so that means it gives them a nice stepping stone before they come here really but as I said uh, obviously I still go to the Manx but it, the way I go to the Manx is different because it's the classic that is involved in it but it's still a great run and I enjoy doing it. Yeah I think you're echoing what a lot of us think it is an absolute brilliant way to get onto the onto the mountain course. Do you still keep an eye on the up and comers and who's coming through when you when you're there yourself at the Manx each year? Yeah, it's nice to see the young lads obviously having a go. It's you know it's it's big bikes or uh, sort of bikes now are so aggressive when you come here they're just so hard work so I think when people go to the TT for the first time they feel obliged to ride a big bike with the Manx they can't do so they just ride a 600 so and I think it's a good way to, to, to make them start off because as I said even the scene now when, when you from right around here to 600 for and then you want a big bike it's, it's they're aggressive uh, so to get going there is, as in my opinion it's a fantastic start for, for somebody who wants to come and have a go around here. Before we let you go, I'm sure it'll be on everyone's mind. How's practice week going? Well, it looks like it's going fantastic with some blistering times. Course conditions look great. How's it feeling out there? Yeah, good. Everyone seems to be going to plan. Uh, it's been a few years since big, big ways we've been on the money, so we've got lots of changes still to make. Uh, we need to do a couple of laps in the Super Twin. We've only done one on it, so give it a proper good run and see what it's going like, 600s, make a change to and same with the big bike, but I would say before next week I would say you'll you'll definitely see uh, some savage laps coming out of things, but it's just getting faster and faster and I would say everybody who wants to be at the front is going to have to be doing big laps. Yeah, brilliant mate, we wish you all the best and we'll let you get back to getting bikes ready for this evening's practice.